All right, now, let me turn to the Iran deal. Yesterday, the Supreme Leader said the first day of the deal means the end of sanctions. After that announcement, Senator Paul, should we walk away from the negotiating table? I think my biggest concern about the whole thing is is that immediately upon the Obama administration coming forward with the talking points of what they say the agreement means, you have the Iranians tweeting in English uh, at us saying that basically the agreement doesn't mean anything that we say it means. And so I, I do think there's a, a great deal of and a concern about lack of sincerity on the Iranians' part. And, uh, yes, I'm, I'm very skeptical. The one thing I've said over and over is that um, we cannot constitutionally let the president undo law uh, on his own. So the sanctions were passed. I voted for the sanctions against Iran. These sanctions were passed by Congress. I don't think there is a legal way in which he can uh, remove them without our approval. But the Supreme Leader said they have to come off on the day the deal is signed or there's no deal. Given that, and given your position on congressional oversight, any point in us going back to Switzerland? Well, my point has always been that there should be a delay between the two and that you should see proof of compliance and proof of goodwill on Iran's part before any sanctions would be removed. But as far as going back, This is where I differ from some Republicans. I still am in favor of continued negotiations. I don't think uh, immediately stopping negotiations. uh, I think they need to keep the sanctions in place, but I think that keeping the door open, continuing conversations is uh, better than warm.